Okay guys, in this video, let us learn to generate the documentation of the REST API using Swagger 3. Swagger 3 is now called as Open API Specification. This Open API Specification is a standard format to define the structure and to describe the REST APIs. The end result can be in the form of JSON or YAML or HTML format. If you open this documentation, you will get the complete details of the REST API. That is the domain model that has been used, the instance variables of that particular class and the data types of the instance variables. Together with that, you will also get the REST API endpoints and it clearly shows what is the HTTP method that it is going to use. Once you see the documentation, using that documentation, you can generate a client for the corresponding REST API. Okay. To work with open specification, we need a Java library. The Java library that we are going to use is Spring Doc hyphen Open API. This library can automatically generate the API documentation for our Spring Boot applications. It also has a set of Swagger annotations which we can use in our application if we want to customize certain elements. Say for example, if I want to give a different title, then I can go in for the appropriate Swagger annotations. While using this Java library, it automatically generates the documentation either in JSON or YAML or HTML format. Okay. Now you can see this. I have opened swagger.io. Under swagger.io, you will be getting the clear definition of open API and the corresponding types that is getting supported. In the next tab, I am getting the Maven dependency of Spring Doc hyphen open API. Let me click on this. You can go in for the version which is getting downloaded very often. I am going in for 1.6.9. So this is the dependency that we need. Okay, fine. Now let us go into Spring Tool Suit. For working with Swagger, I have already created the basic setup that is needed. Here I have created an application that is connecting to the database MySQL. The domain model is product. So the complete setup is done. Here I have got product controller which is using all the HTTP methods. Post mapping, put mapping, delete mapping, get mapping. And together with that in application.properties, I have given the details that is needed to connect to MySQL database. Okay, let me come down to pom.xml. In pom.xml, we need to add the dependencies. As of now, the dependency that I have added is web, MySQL and data JPA. Together with this, we need to add the swagger dependency. So we have already selected it. The version is 1.6.9. Let me add the dependency over here. Let me save it and I will update the project. Select your project, right click Maven update project. Click OK. Now the application setup is ready. There are a set of swagger annotations which you can use if you want to customize your application. Say for example, if you want to change the title, if you want to give a proper name for your REST API endpoints, then you can go in for the Swagger annotations. As of now, we don't need anything. So let me select the main class and run it. The application has started successfully. Let me go to the browser. Now I want to see the Swagger documentation. So the URL is going to be HTTP colon slash slash localhost colon 8080 slash v3 slash api hyphen docs. This will show the documentation of your REST API in JSON format. So this is the documentation of our REST API. Here you can see the title is not the title of our application. If you want to change the title, then you can go in for swagger annotations. Then you can see all the endpoints. The first one is slash product api slash products. So this is the endpoint for get method, for put method, for post method. So for all the three, it is going to be the same endpoint. But the HTML method is different. So for one single endpoint, you are having get, you are having put, you are having post. Then together with that, we are also having delete. For delete, it is product api slash product slash product id. And to get one particular product by id, this is the URL. Okay. This is in JSON format. If you are having a JSON editor, you can copy it and you can see it in a nice manner. But what if I want to convert it or if I want to see it in YAML format? Then you can go here, api-docs.yaml. This is actually a YAML file. So you need to save this YAML file. Let me save the YAML file now. 
the name is api docs only let me open it it's getting opened in vs code great now we can see our rest api documentation the title is open api definition the url is localhost colon 8080 as i told this is the endpoint product api slash products for get mapping put mapping post mapping and for delete and get it is different so the second endpoint is product api slash product slash product id and also you can see it is just going to inform what is the method name what are the parameters it is taking that is this is the input parameter what type of input it is it is a path variable what is the data type of the parameter it is integer what should be the return type if the, if the response is uh, 200 means description is okay so similarly for delete mapping we have given product api slash product slash product id so it's giving the details the method name is delete product it is expecting product id and it is a path variable and together with that the domain model details also will be given over here the name of the domain model is product and also it shows the properties of this product class together with the data type product name product id price brand all of them come with the data type so now we have seen the documentation in json format and in yaml format what if i want to test the api for testing the api we need the ui of swagger so let us open the swagger ui let me open a new tab localhost colon 8080 swagger ui dot html once it is opened you need to go and give the path v3 slash api docs after 8080 whatever is given over here this details should be added here within the search box so now you have got the ui which is showing the complete details for get method whether you are you need to pass parameters of course we don't need it then for put method you need to pass the product object itself for post method for get method if you are passing the id you need to get the data for delete method if you are passing the id that particular product object should be deleted okay so uh, this is how you generate the documentation for the rest api two more things also we will see what if i want to customize the rest api documentation rather than having it as v3 slash api docs i want to have it as product api hyphen docs to do this we need to add a property in our application dot properties file swagger api so the property name is spring doc dot api hyphen docs dot path and the name that i want is product api hyphen docs let us also add one more property to change the name of the ui earlier the name is swagger hyphen ui dot html spring doc swagger hyphen ui dot path equal to slash product hyphen ui let me save this and relaunch the application application has started let us go back to the browser so now instead of v3 slash api docs let us change it to product api hyphen docs we are getting the same output and also let us convert it into a yaml file save this as product api hyphen docs let us open the file now we have got the documentation of our product api in yaml format let us go to the swagger ui instead of swagger ui let us change the name to product hyphen ui dot html i'm getting an error page let me check the property so here the property name should be product ui dot html save this again relaunch the application let me go back to the browser now this time let me check it out now we have got the ui but we are not getting any rest endpoints to get the endpoints we are changing the api name so it has to be slash product api hyphen docs so that's it here we have got the ui also now let us also learn how to change certain values in our documentation using the swagger annotations i want to give a custom title custom version and the description of this particular product api for so for doing that we need to go with swagger annotations 
So let me go back to the code. In the main class, add the annotation as at open API definition. It takes info within which at info here we have got title equal to product API version equal to 1.0 description equal to product API with string version also is a string so put that within double quotes now let me save this relaunch the application okay go to the browser now let me refresh this here you can see the custom title description and the version so this is how you generate documentation of a rest api using open api specification also called as swagger that's it thank you